back to 360 digital mg channel and like every week we try to bring in uh, people who have success uh, right uh, in their careers who have met the success by getting into the uh, dream jobs uh, in the data science and uh, data analytics fields so this weekend we have mr kiran kumar who is currently working as data analyst in genpack and uh, very happy uh, kiran kumar and uh, congratulations on uh, right uh, you have achieved your your dream job so yeah so to to our audience is uh, kiran um, uh, can you explain um, what are the various things that you have practiced in order to get into this job where where, where did your journey begin okay uh, basically me uh, i'm from a uh, bsc statistics background sir. so the terms machine learning was with very familiar to me in the college days itself so during the lockdown i was like looking forward to uh, grow in this field and i was looking for the institutes and i found 360 digital mg so i have enrolled for the course and uh, here i have uh, learned exactly the trainers have taught me exactly what is machine learning i could correlate the statistics uh, to the real world problems in my college it was all the theory part so actually i could correlate those things okay this is how the, the the things work in the real world so that yeah. is how it became more interesting for me okay. and it was like uh, it is a consistency which uh, made me uh, achieve my dream job sir it's like we have to do the things daily uh, exactly. you need not uh, do uh, you need not learn for 8 hours 10 hours a day but at least 1 hour 2 hours a day uh, if you keep going consistently i think that should do the job exactly well said kiran well said so persistency is the key right so you'll yes. have to constantly be at the subject you'll have to yeah. every day try and learn, learn. things so yeah. that you memorize these yes, concepts yes. well said well said so there you go friends people who are coming from statistical background for them the advantage is that they already know statistical related concepts but unless until you do hands on and try to work on projects you will not be able to gain the industrial required practical knowledge so kiran has worked on those on daily basis practiced hard and that's why he is successful so tell me kiran yes. what kind of projects did you work on and how these projects actually helped uh, from interview perspective okay from the uh, interview perspective the projects are the main thing like if uh, if your resume is getting selected the first thing the the interviewer would be questioning uh, in and around your project so most of the questions would be related to those stuff uh, so in 360 i have uh, done two projects uh, exactly it was <laughs> to end of yes i do remember a few things relating to the uh, project so so the first uh, project was like to determine the it's it's an automobile uh, domain uh, uh, project so we have to predict whether an ev vehicle is uh, going to fail or not uh, on the based on the different factors like temperature the weather the road condition so yeah, that project the helped vehicles me. are everywhere right yeah ev yeah ev uh, breakdown prediction so that kind of project helped me uh, crack the interview in my wings company since uh, it was also we were, they were also having the automobile uh, dealers like yamaha or the acer so they were also having the service uh, module in the wings so that helped me uh, gain that okay they felt that okay this guy is familiar to this particular domain so this is that is how they uh, found that he is the uh, he might be the best role for this uh, this job so that is how i could crack my first interview yeah. wonderful wonderful so yeah. the practical exposure from the project actually help you to gain or uh, get into the first job and now you are in the second job genpack right so yes. awesome yes. awesome um with respect to your um, um, i should say interview how important mm -hmm. is python or for that matter sql programming i think that is one of the most important things sir so uh, let us say there are uh, around 500 uh, people or 500 candidates who are uh, applying for one particular job so as per my experience what i have observed is so the first round would be the python round 
they would uh, give you a hacker rank problem or a hacker problem and they'll tell you to solve it so no matter how much you are good in your technical uh, things or the machine learning things, if you're not able to crack that first interval the first python round you will be not able to get that opportunity to prove yourself in the second or third round so python is also most important thing yes i feel that is the first step of your success to that That's to right. a dream job yes i wanted you to explain how important it is from the uh, right interviews perspective also to our audience that's the reason why i asked that question mm -hmm. yeah see whatever knowledge that we have unless until we are able to express that mm -hmm. not be able to crack the interviews right so from that perspective yes. python programming is one of the essential um i should say tool factor yeah this and yes, you, you did mention hacker rank and hacker earth sites mm -hmm. right so these yes. are very very crucial uh, portals which i would recommend our audiences our, our students to go ahead and practice the codes that are or the problems that are there in these portals many mm -hmm. companies are basically using these portals for initial screening so if you if you already practice on these questions then it becomes very easy for you to actually crack the first level of the interview right? practical exposures are very very important absolutely well said kiran so what what do you see for uh, kiran um, how how do you uh, see your future from from data science, data science or data analyst perspective where do you want to get on uh, from here can you hear me kiran oh uh, yes now i'm able to hear you sir could you please repeat the question yeah so my my question was now you are in uh, in your dream job you are basically trying to get into data science from statistical background and you're doing the job now mm -hmm. so where do you want to go from here how do you want to up the ante right your career plans mm -hmm. what what is your mindset uh, with okay. respect to your future plans okay currently uh, in my organization there is a bit of scope for the uh, uh, cloud part sir so i'm currently learning uh, azure uh, cloud so since okay. i al already use microsoft per way i also want to learn uh, microsoft azure so that it would be an added advantage for me so in azure also we can do the machine learning uh, stuff yeah so that is how i want to upskill myself from uh, now okay. so that is why so i'm planning sir. wonderful wonderful so the industries are moving from legacy systems or on prem systems to cloud based cloud. yes sir. exactly so all the things that we do in our local machines or on prem systems can be done on machine done uh, sorry can be done on the cloud platform cloud so you yeah. know what cloud it is it could be azure it could be aws it could be GCP, google yeah. it could be oracle yes, so all these cloud platforms are going to be the essential tools for the future generations Yes. Sir. So you are on the right path, Kiran. Very good. So audiences uh, will also right now now probably appreciate the, this particular information from uh, you, Kiran. Uh, they will also have to look into the cloud-based applications. Yes, sir. Awesome, Kiran. Very well. Uh, uh, I mean, drafted your answers and 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 basically you're you're explaining your future plans, which will uh, also allow us our. Uh, um, right students or our audiences to to plan their future as well um so yeah thank you so much to to join us uh, in, in your busy schedule and uh, spend some quality time with us to help our right students also gain some insights on how to prepare and what to prepare thank you so much kiran and good luck keep in touch it's my pleasure sir yes sir definitely i would definitely come and meet you one day sir i'll come to the office and meet you wonderful please you're most welcome kiran you are an inspiration to many thank you sir. thank you so much yeah thank you so much for your time take care bye bye sir